My name is Tyler Bragginson, and I'm an Applications Manager for Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at the differences between CircuitWorks and CircuitWorks Lite. Every version of SolidWorks includes the ability to import 2D PCB data and create three-dimensional SolidWorks files. To do this, you need to utilize CircuitWorks or CircuitWorks Lite. SolidWorks Standard includes CircuitWorks Lite, while so SolidWorks Professional and SolidWorks Premium include the full version of CircuitWorks. The help file has a CircuitWorks overview, which gives you a breakdown of the differences between CircuitWorks and the Lite version. Everything from the way the model is created, the number of components that can be included, as well as some importing, exporting, and control options. Let's take a look at these differences. I'm going to begin by opening a PCB board design using CircuitWorks Lite. Since I have a full version of CircuitWorks, I'm going to get a warning telling me that I'm about to use the Lite version. I'll proceed with the light version. The light version uses an API to take two-dimensional layouts of the components on your board and extrude them to the component height. The result is a multi-body single part. Here we can see my resulting board and the components that have been placed on it. These are very basic components simply extruded to the actual height of the tallest part of the component. It doesn't take into account the little details on each component. Additionally, since this is a multi-body part, I'm restricted on what I can do with this design instead of turning it into a full assembly. Now let's take a look at what happens when we import the same file using the full version of CircuitWorks. To turn CircuitWorks on, I need to enable the add-in. Give it a second to load and then I can find my CircuitWorks options under Tools, CircuitWorks, and I want to open an ECAD file. I'll select that same reader PCB file, and this will open up my CircuitWorks dialog. In the CircuitWorks interface, we have much more control that we didn't have previously with the Lite version. Let's go ahead and build this model really quickly, and then we'll return to the interface itself. With CircuitWorks, you can see that it's using its own software coding to actually produce the file. Therefore, we're not using an API, reducing the burden on your actual computer. As this is building all the individual components, it's creating a full assembly. My board will be one component, and each part on that board will be a separate component. The assembly will be more detailed, including things like through holes, as well as mounting holes. With the interface, we can take a look at the progress that's being completed with our board. Finally, our end result is a PCB board that looks much more accurate. Many components have high detail just like the real component would. Others are still basic extrusions. This is due to the fact that CircuitWorks uses a component library. If the component is already in your library, it'll go ahead and bring in the detailed model. If it's not, it creates a simple extrusion to begin with. You can always go in and modify that file to look more accurate or create a new one. Now that we're in an assembly mode, I have all of my assembly evaluation tools such as interference and clearance verification that I can run on this component. Let's take a look at that CircuitWorks library. Clicking on the component library, you can see I have a complete list of all of the components that I have models for, as well as some of their data and the location of the 3D file. This component library allows you to quickly generate boards. Once the components are in the library, it will generate the board much faster than when it has to build them for the very first time. Therefore, if you reuse the same components over and over, it'll build the boards faster and faster each time. Let's take a look at the CircuitWorks interface again. I'll reopen the interface. Inside the interface, we have much more controls on the full version of CircuitWorks. Here, I can actually see a preview of what the board looks like, as well as all of the components that are on it. I get information as to if there's issues with single components, or if they're good to go. I also have the ability to filter out items that I don't necessarily need for my 3D model. Maybe we don't need to see plated holes. I can easily filter those out, and the next time I build this board, 
it will not contain the individual plated holes. Additionally, from the full version of CircuitWorks, if we make a design change, say we move this component over a little ways, we can actually export this information back to a 2D file. I do that by coming up here and choosing Export CircuitWorks. This will open up the CircuitWorks interface and allow me to see my old design side by side with my new design, which I can then choose to save back into one of my many file types. That's a quick rundown on the differences between CircuitWorks Standard and CircuitWorks Lite. Remember, the Lite version only allows you to create single parts, and it doesn't have interface control allowing you to do things like filter out individual components. The full version will generate an assembly, has more import and export options, as well as a unique interface and software coding to create faster, more accurate models. Today we took a look at the differences between CircuitWorks and CircuitWorks Lite.